Hello my fellow gaming enthusiasts, my name is Erix. Today I will not be doing a fat pack, but I will be doing a Magic Origins booster box. I am hoping and praying that my luck is not nearly as bad as it has been. Um, my last two fat packs, just absolute garbage. They uh, have been oh so very disappointing. I think it was... Um, about 80 bucks I spent on them, and I got nothing, nothing worth my time in them. It was so disappointing. So let's see what we got here. We got uh, this thing. Yeah, I know how to draft. And what comes next? I don't know. I'm an idiot. 36 packs. Let's get to it. I am hoping and praying my luck turns around in this box, otherwise I spent a bunch of money to do very poor. Now as always I will be skipping, I will flip through the commons, but I will be mostly skipping to the uncommons and the rare. So we got Psychic Rebuttal, Thunderclap Wyvern, Dwight Elite, and a Languish. Not a bad first pack, because I could use some Languish. I, uh, I'm looking at playing Abzan. In standard and so languish will probably be pretty helpful so we got an elemental bond I actually like that one a lot Valerie and a Kroos possess Scob I think it's Scob oh so nice and Anissa not the one I need but I will take it oh so nice I'm gonna set that aside Set aside the language too. Nissa. I'm already feeling better about this box. I think Nissa's at 30. I don't know. Not important. I got the Nissa. So let's see what we got here. Uh, Alkalite of the Inferno. Tower Geist. Jesse and Thief. And Jace's Sanctum. Dud Rare. Will this save it? No, it's a Maritime Guard. Alright. I'm hoping to get, like anybody, as many planeswalkers as possible because that'll save me the money in the long run in buying singles. As Sphinx's Tutelage, Anointer of the Champions, of Champions, Enthralling Victor, and Exquisite Firecraft. Another card I've been looking for. Very nice. Three to do four to target creature or player. It's a sorcery, but still three to do four. And then spell mastery uh, can be countered if you have spell mastery. So let's see: Swift Reckoning, Citadel Castellan, Flashbag Marauder, my rare Gideon's Phalanx. Instant put four two two white knights with vigilance. Mm, spell mastery creatures you control are indestructible to end turn. My, I got a foil, prism ring. Alright. Next pack. I don't know, maybe I'm just... Maybe it's maybe I'm being crazy. This pack feels a little weird. As opposed to the other ones I've already opened. Let's see what we got. Uh, the Sky Snare Spider. Conclave Naturalist. Nauru Trapper. And... Outland Colossus. Five for a six six is nice. Renowned six can't be blocked by more than one creature. Very nice. I guess it was just me. Nothing weird about that pack. Alright. <laughs> Got a brawler's plate. Blazing Hellhound, Sigil Starfish, and Ember Maw Hellion. Probably not worth anything. Common Land War Empath, I really like. I'm happy to see you got a reprint. Rose Champion, very nice card. Especially for, well, it just fits right into Boros there. Totem Guide, Herd of Beast, 
Reclusive Artificer, and the rare is Animus Awakening. Ooh, with a foil Draga Invocation. Draga? Draga? I don't know. Not important. It's there. Alright. Okay, Seismic Elemental. Shadows of the Past. When a creature dies, scry one. I like that. Your opponent loses two life and you gain two. Activate the ability only if there are four more creatures in your graveyard. I like that. Good endgame stuff for draft. Goldforge Sentinel. And Starfield of Nyx. It's a mythic. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may return target enchantment card from your graveyard to the battlefield. As long as there are five more enchantments, each other non-aura enchantment you control as a creature. And it Ooh, that's cool. Power and toughness, base power and base toughness equal to its converted mana cost. That's cool. I seriously doubt it'll see standard play, but it's still pretty cool. Maybe for a little while, while um before Theros rotates out, we still have Journey into Nyx and Constellations a thing. Alright. Sigil of Valor. Knightly Valor. Sentinel of the Eternal Watch. And Displacement Wave. And this was a good start. It's uh, dwindling down a little bit, but uh, still over half the box to go. Rune Servitor, Council's Lieutenant, Valoran Wardens, and Hangerback Walker. I've seen this in a lot of decks lately. Can't be too upset about that. It's getting some play. I hear if you take it with Nantuko Husk, you can just swing with the husk and if they don't block you get through some for some crazy amounts of damage chief of the foundry jm tay tome and my rare tragic arrogance each player you choose from among the permanents that player controls you choose from among the permanents that player controls an artifact a creature an enchantment and a planeswalker then each player sacrifices all of their non-land permanents he or she controls interesting a different kind of wrath. Like, um, what was it? Razia's Purification. Choose three permanents, sacrifice the rest. Or, everybody chooses three and sacrifice the rest. Majoring Network. Citadel Castellan. Somberwald Alpha. And a Scab Clan Berserker. Three for a 2 2 haste renown. One. When an opponent casts a non creature, if it's renowned, Shock that player. That's not terrible. I don't think I'll be using it in standard though. Let's see. I really like Elvish Visionary too. I like a lot of cards in here. Patron of the Valiant, Blood Cursed Knight, Blessed Spirits, and Priest of the Blood Rite with a foil island. That makes two foil islands so far that I have. Watch out, everyone. You can see the jealousy on your face. It's growing. Alright. <laughs> Garaper Aether Grid. Angel's Tomb. Zendikar's Royal. And a Battlefield Forge. I'm never too upset when I get a land, but... Uh, yeah, I'd be happier if there were more fetches. I'm, I'm really hoping that um, some of the rumors I've read and, and heard are true and that um, they're reprinting the Zendikar fetches in Battle for Zendikar. Kethion's Irregulars, 4-3, uh, Renown 1, 2-white type of creature. I like it. Okay. I like Celestial Flare too. Hydro Lash, Thunderclap Wyvern, Shaman of the Pack is great for elf decks. That's your win condition in the black green elf. And I have Disciple of the Ring, another cheap mythic, I believe. Um, 
take a look at it. Uh, five for three, four, one of any color mana. Exile an instant source card from your graveyard. Choose one. Counter target non creature spell unless they pay two. It gets plus one, plus one till on turn. Tap creature, untap target creature. Yeah, it's all right. I believe I'm up to four mythics now. I don't like it the way it's turning out. I'm hoping for many more planeswalkers. Molten Vortex. Let me go through here. Pull out my mythics. So, uh, not four. I'm at three. I'm putting this at the top. Obvious reasons. Let's see what else we got here. All right. Oop. Elemental Bomb, Clash of Wills, Blightcaster, and Sword of the Animist is the rare. About halfway through the box now. Let's go ahead and take these out. All right. A little more room there. All right, Tormented Thoughts, Turn to Frog, Possessed Scob, and Hexus Prison Warden. Uh, five for four four flash. When a creature deals combat damage to you, if it entered the battlefield this turn, hmm, exile that creature until Hexus leaves play. That's that's interesting. Very interesting. All right. <sighs> Got Sphinx's Tutelage, Shadows of the Past, Revenant, and Gaia's Revenge. Can't, uh, 785 can't be countered. Haste can't be a target of non-green spells or abilities from non-green sources. So, Selective Shroud. All right. So we got a Skystar Spider, Nauru Trapper, Undercity Troll. Hmm? Oh. Oh, that is so nice. That That's weird that that happened. Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Foil. With a Jace. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to see that I have a Jace. Awesome. Box is turning out to be all right. I'd really like a Liliana, because anybody who knows me knows that Liliana is my favorite Planeswalker, and I need to collect a set of four of them. I have uh, four Liliana of the Veil, and I am so super happy about that. A Avaricious Dragon. I, I still don't know if I'm saying that right or not, but it's a mythic. So, I'll put it right behind here, because he's obviously not nearly as good as somebody. Alright, so... Uncommons. We got Psychic Rebuttal, Reclusive Artificer, Blessed Spirits, and my rare Alhamarit High Arbiter. Seven for a 5-5 five, five flying. When it enters the battlefield, each opponent reveals his your hand. You choose the name of a non-land card revealed this way, while um, your opponent can't cast spells with the chosen name. As long as this creature's on the battlefield. They had to put that in, in the reminder text parentheses. I don't know why they just say it. put as long as it's in play they can. I don't know. Whatever. Wizards does what Wizards does. I don't question it. Alright. Murder Investigation. Goblin Glory Chaser. Throwing Knife. And Guilt Leaf Winnower. This card has really been bugging me in draft. Because uh, I've been playing blue-black 
And so my creatures are usually not, they don't usually have equal power and toughness. And if they do, I, I put on the power up to change that. So I'm kind of doing it to myself. So we got Call of the Full Moon, Sky Raker Giant, Thopter Engineer, and Flame Shadow Conjuring, which is kind of weird. Just a solid red pack right there. On to the next. Alright, Swift Reckoning. Blazing Hellhound, Fiery Conclusion, and an Infinite Obliteration. Name a creature card, search target opponent's graveyard, hand, and library for any number of cards of that name and exile them. Then they shuffle. That's not bad. Every couple of years they gotta print another one of those that uh, does that. It was a Surgical Extraction before that. I don't, I don't remember the names, but the, I can think of three or four. Sylvan Messenger, Fleshbag Marauder, Scryfish, and Evolutionary Leap with a foil fitted imp behind it. Let's see, Sacrifice Creature, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card, put it in your hand, and the rest on the bottom in, in, in a random order. You don't see too often that they go to the bottom in random order. I almost said in any order, just out of habit. Hmm. Didn't notice that. I like him. Let's see. Seismic Elemental. Tower Geist. Sentinel of the Eternal Watch. And Talent of the Telepath. Target opponent reveals the top seven cards of his or her library. You may cast an instant or sorcery from among them without paying. Put the rest into their graveyard. Spell Mastery. You may cast up to two revealed instant and sorcery cards instead of one. It's not bad. I think that I think that's gonna shine in EDH. Well, that's just me. I, I could be way off. Meteorite, Knightly Valor, Anchor to the Aether, with a Sheevan Reef for the rare. What we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, Jiraga Invocation, Conclave Naturalist, Eye Blight Massacre, and Pia and Kirin Nalar. Probably really good with uh, Popter decks. I don't know. I drafted one last night. Did not use it and was not appealing. I also got it late in the draft, so... Consecrated by Blood, Anchor to the Aether, Chandra's Ignition, and a Foil, Lanwar Empath. Alright. Whirler Road, Scab Goliath. Foundry of the Councils, and Thopter's Spy Network. Beginning of your upkeep, if you control an artifact, put a woman Thopter artifact token in with flying into play. Whenever one or more artifact creatures you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Thopters, for anybody who haven't noticed, apparently are very popular in this set. What a strange coincidence. Flippy, 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 flippy. Warhorn. Totem Guide, Heart of Beast, Jesse and Thief, and Nissa's Revelation. Seven, scry five, then reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature, you draw cards equal to its power and gain life equal to its toughness with a foil Harbinger of the Tides behind it. You can you may cast it as though it had a flash. If you pay two more, when there's a battlefield, you may return target tapped creature and punk controls to the owner's hand. Not too upset about that. Take another look at that. Two blue for a 2-2. Two, two. 
you can return the tap creature to their hand. Or you can flash it down for two blue and two. I like that a lot. I wonder how much play it'll see in standard. Alright, Mage Ring Network, Alkalite of the Inferno, Gold Ford Sentinel, and the rare, a Goblin Pile Driver. There's some value right there. I have a set from Onslaught Block, signed by Matt Kavoda. I'm about to have another set of them. Last pack. Alright, Angel's Tomb, Bounding Crasis, Enthralling Victor, and... Uh, Animus Awakening. Well, alright then. There's the box. Got five Mythics out of it. Two of them being Planeswalkers. Can't be too terribly upset. So, alright, yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad, I suppose. I think these together right now come out to like 65... 60, somewhere around there. And then Pile Driver, I believe, is like 15. So, yeah, there's the box. Hell of a lot better than my fat packs have been. But, uh, yeah, you want to see more openings? Hopefully, you know, I don't flop like I have been on those openings. But you want to see more of them? Check out my channel. Plan on doing them every now and then, whenever I get spare cash. And, uh, yeah, there you go. You guys enjoy your day.